All right, folks, welcome to episode 75, 75. of our Run Club, the podcast. Yes, we're uh, three quarters into this thing, you know? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah. Yeah, man, think about that. It's impressive. Yep. We've been going at this for well over a year now. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're cranking them out, baby, every week. Banging it out. Banging it out, you know? And, um, and it feels good. I gotta tell you, it feels real good. <laughs> it tells it? Yep. Yeah. And I had a dream last night about number 75. What'd you, what'd you think? What, ha- what happened in this dream? In the I dream, think? you know, the specific, you know how dreams can be non-specific. Sometimes weird people come in, weird yep. scenes and stuff. So it was like that. A lot of details I couldn't remember and that were just strange. But the one thing that came out of it was uh, that this voice came out of nowhere and said, number 75 is going to be the one that you and Eric are known for. You think And remembered so? by. Yeah, people are going to remember us by episode 75. I think you're right, bud. Yeah. I think you're right. Yep. Yeah. Um, what are we talking about today? Do you know? Uh, well, I mean, weren't we, I mean, I think we were going to get real serious and talk about the physiology of running. Yeah, and, like and some we gonna, scientific stuff. Very scientific stuff, and then talk about like um, how to calculate VO two max and serious stuff like that. We were going to get real down to, you know, down to science. But man, I, I can't talk about anything else but how. You know, flipping hot it's been outside. <laughs> yeah, right. I can't talk. I, we're we're in the midst of uh, here in Rhode Island. In the Northeast, the third heat wave in like about three weeks. I know, it's been brutal, man. And I can't talk about anything else but. I know, I'm I was sorry. in the middle of doing my research for this thing. Same thing. And uh, I couldn't focus. Nope. I couldn't focus because it was so dang hot out. And yes, and I've still been running through it, and I've been trying to like weed my way through the heat. And it's yeah. just wearing me down. Me too, man. You know? It's been it's been rough out there. It's been terrible. So maybe we talk a little bit about we're that. We're gonna talk about we're gonna like crab about that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna commiserate and we're gonna just I like it. I do enjoy myself a little crab session. It's you know? some it, exactly, me too. And sometimes it's good to get it out. Just for the sake of getting it out. Right. I mean, you know, we're just gonna try to get it out there about our frustrations, about dealing with it. I'm talking to a lot of runners lately, well as we always do, we both do. Yep. And uh and everyone's in the same boat with like Jeez, it's been so hard. It's tough when Some it's not. People are ticked off about it. People are discouraged by it and, you know, despondent even. Yeah, I've had a couple of conversations where the runners just, they're so despondent. Yes. You know. Despondent. That might just be the word of the day. I think it Can is. Can get a graphic up here? Despondent. <laughs> um, uh, but so, you, so, but you've been able to get out there. Uh, I've been able to get out. So how has your week gone? Uh, I've been just, dis- I gotta tell you, I'm despondent. I'm just like, <laughs> this, this, this heat and humidity. It's not the heat, it's the humidity. I That's just, what they say. I'm despondent. That's what they say. Um, I have been able to get out there and I'm, and I'm being consistent. I'm still trying to be consistent. Again, I'm not breaking any records. I'm not breaking any distance records or speed records, but I am breaking consistency records. Are you? <laughs> yeah. I've been, I've been really trying to be consistent, but That's it's been awesome. hard. Uh, and I was away. I, yes, oh, I remember that. That was a little frustrating for me. I know. I'm sorry. I came at. Sorry. I came here on Thursday, and I sat down, and I waited yeah. 30, 40 minutes. And then you remembered that I was going on a little bit of a vacation with my fam. Yeah, uh, yeah. It took a while for me to for that to like click. Yeah. I just didn't want to believe it. You told me. Yeah. I just didn't want to. You were in denial it. the whole time. I was in denial. He's going to go and he's going to sit there for about 30 or 40 minutes. And Maybe he'll show he's gonna, up. Yeah. He's going to come in just like he does every he's gonna make, He's going to pull through. <laughs> um, I went on vacation and I ran. Nice. I did some running every That's day. That's tough to do on a big cake. A couple of days, mm, they weren't like, you know, I didn't go on real long runs because it was hot and humid and right. we had things going on, so I wanted to. Um, you know, I, I didn't want my running to interfere with our plans and stuff. But I got out there. I got out there. You are nice. on some dirt roads. Ooh. For, for a lot of the... Um, Fancy. For a lot of it, yeah. Dirt, uh, they're like soft dirt, sandy roads. Oh, and, uh, it was pretty cool. It's nice to get off the pavement every once in a while. It is good off the pavement, yeah. So where did you... Do, are you at liberty to disclose? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was in South County, Rhode Island. Oh, uh, you know, okay. down by the water. Nice. And uh, I got the chance to do some... Uh, Outdoorsy kind of stuff. Sweet. That was fun. It was. It was great. It That's was, it fun. Was beautiful. Cool. Yeah. 
Oh. And, and I'm I'm impressed you got out there for a run. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's good stuff. I had a pretty good week good. myself. Yeah. Yeah, fairly consistent. I'm in the same boat. I'm bringing consistency records, you know? Yes. It not was speed, not speed or distance records, but consistency, consistency records, Consistency right? records. Yeah. Um, I think I ran every day this week, so I got out there. Um, Good. Actually, I'm between three and five miles. Okay. Like you said, not breaking any distance records, just getting it done. Stay optimistic. Be consistent. Um, Be consistent with it. You're better off that way. Exactly. And I've been, uh, you know, I've been clipping along pretty good. I've been uh, trying to get out every morning. I have my little routine. I get up, coffee, sit, read the news. 5.30, I'm out the door for my run, cool. and uh, yeah, I've been cranking it out. What's crazy is it was like, was it rain? It was like a little bit of rain this morning. Oh, see, we didn't get any up where I, where, you know, where I am, but I noticed here mm -hmm. at the shop, it's, there's puddles out there, man. Yeah. It rained overnight. This morning, it got a little rain on me, which was not not bad. I, I kind of enjoyed need it. it. We need yeah. some rain. Yeah, cool you off a little bit. Yeah, it was good, although... Very upset when I got in my car to drive to work. You left your, you left the window open? I um, oh. windows were closed up, sunroof. Oh my open, lord. Seats soaked. Ugh. I'm all soaked right now sitting here. It's disgusting. Soggy bottom. I got a soggy, soggy bottom. bottom. Oh I, I do that rarely, but on occasion I have done that and oh. it's like oh it's terrible. Ugh, frustrating. But yeah. uh running wise, good week. Okay. Definitely good week. We had a couple of family run times which I'm always a fan of and uh yeah yeah but it's been brutal with this heat man the heat and humidity has just been brutal it's been a heat wave it's been a heat wave man three heat waves coming through over the past few weeks right like right back to back to back and you know what i've been i've been looking at my uh watch and my phone and it's the humidity bro it yeah 99 percent humidity yeah that's ridiculous it's that's water it just you get wet Everything gets drenched. Yes. It doesn't dry off. You can't dry off. Nope. And it's just, you know, your body can't cool itself off. It's disgusting. When it's coated with, like, a slime, right, from all right. the sweat. And, you know, it's just, it's uncomfortable. Your heart rate goes way up, and it's just, oof. It's rough, dude. Like, this morning, or was it, no, yesterday morning was even worse. Today was rain, so it was kind of like, all right, whatever. But yesterday, it was like 93% humidity, sweating bullets, yeah. shirts sticking to me, yeah. and like you said, the heart rate goes up, so the effort is a little bit harder, and I feel like I'm working much harder yeah. to run through the same, the same distance, the same course I usually run. I'm working so much harder. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And I'm, you know, I, for me, the strategy, the strategy is... Um, just get through it. <laughs> right. Power through it. Yeah. I'm not like, I'm not trying to go fast at that point. I'm just trying to run comfortably. Like, if you can even run comfortably, I don't know. I'm, right. I try to be as comfortable as possible, mm -hmm. you know, and, and ease into it, work my way into the run and just power through. But it's hard sometimes. I feel like, you know, I'll go out there and it's almost like I feel like panicked. Yeah. I just feel like, oh my oh my lord, you know, it's just like, I, almost like a panic feeling, you know, you get out there and it's like, oh, you can't breathe, yep. and it's just a labor, and so I don't know, I, I don't necessarily think that, I don't want people to think that we're condoning going out there and, and running when it's this hot and humid, mm -hmm. you know, it's in the 90s and you got like 90 something percent yeah. humidity, I don't necessarily condone that, but you know how runners are, a lot of runners are going to want to go out there and just get their running in. Right. So do it anyway. Yeah, and you work around it, and some people will try to get out there early, mm -hmm. or some people will go out later. Um, it doesn't always work out that way for me. No. My body, the way my body works, I'm not always, my motor's not always running at five o'clock in the morning. I don't, I can't always do that. Right, right. That would be the most appropriate time to go out, I guess. Yeah. Um, then I'll go a little later. I'll go like early evening mm -hmm. after work. and um, That's good. I, you know, but that's just hard to motivate yourself to do it. But it is. You know, you gotta try to beat the heat in some sense of form, you know? Right, yeah, I try to get out in the morning, and <clears throat> yeah. some mornings I'll step out the door and I'll know, I just hit you like a ton of bricks, which it really is does. like, 
Oh, great. It's going to be one of those one of those runs. Yeah. Like this morning, it didn't start raining until like I was into my run. So I walked out the door and I went, all right, this is going to suck. Here we go again. Here we go again. It's brutal. I even said I was going to do, in my head, I was like, I'm going to just do three. Just do three. Yeah. Get it done. Mm-hmm. Grind it out. Do something. And right. then it rained, cooled me off a little bit. And I was like, I, I think I could do four or five. Right. You know, I feel so much better. So I managed to get four in. But it was like, okay, yeah. You get that sensation of like the heat is like overwhelming you, and then yeah, you're like, forget it. I think it's kind of good to, to go out there and, and just be able to make the an adjustment in your head, mm. right? Like calling it audible or something like that. Football, right. you know, it's like, okay, uh, I don't feel great through this. I'm just going to try to get three in. And maybe you go four because you're feeling a little bit better once you get into a groove. Yeah. Uh, but that, you know, maybe not setting. Changing it up and maybe not setting your expectations so high. Like, I'm just going to try to get out there and do a few. Yeah. Get something in. Know that I did something that was good for my body, you know, and, you know, got the exercise and fitness in. So, right. yeah, being able to adjust it up like that is a good thing. Yeah, it's helpful. So, um, yeah. We should probably take a break. We'll take a little bit of a break. And then, why don't we come back? We'll talk a little bit more about some of those strategies to, like, attack yeah. the hot weather. And yeah. then we can complain some more. Well, then it'll crap a little bit more. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. We're back. We're back. <sighs> We're talking heat. Talking heat. Talking humidity. Heat and humidity. It's Woo! not the heat. It's the humidity. It's the humidity. Yeah. It's brutal out there. Yeah, at least where we are. And I'm sure, you know, folks in different regions... Mm. Except maybe Iceland. Our listeners up in Iceland or over in Iceland probably might not be experiencing this right now. I hope they're not. I hope it's not too hot and humid there. Yeah. That'll be bad. I but, feel bad for them. <clears throat> right. So But I mean we're you know, a lot of people are going through this. I'm sorry. What are some strategies that we can use well, to attack this heat? Like my strategy this morning was just get something done. Yes. Get out the door, take that first step, yes, do it, and then who knows what'll happen as you get going. Right. And if you're going to do it Maybe not expecting so much out of it. Right. Right. Being mindful of it, isolating the fact that you hate running in humidity, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes that helps. It takes the edge off. Yeah, I hate doing this. And why, why do I hate it? Because it's hot and humid, and, my, and it just makes me feel crappy out there. Yeah. Um, so isolate the, you know, the frustrations or the anxieties. Get out there. Maybe do a few. Mm -hmm. See how you feel. Maybe you'll do more. Maybe not. Um, you know, making sure you're wearing the right apparel, right? right? Yep, that's true. So don't overdo it. Right. Do you, um, I was going to say, sometimes it helps to just like ignore pace, ignore right. time. Yes. All that stuff. I think it's a good idea. Throw the watch out the window. Throw the watch out the window. Yeah. You know? Right. Or, you know, don't even put it on. Maybe you're keeping track of your distance, okay, so, but, like, try not to be, a, um, you know, dictated by the watch. Yes. Yeah. Because, you know, you get yourself down, you right. know, um, really. It's going to be tough. It's, so just ignore it. Whatever. Stick through it. Get through it. Get Come through on. it. Um, you know, and some people, it, that's hard for them to do. It's you true, know. man. I always find myself peeking, peeking at the watch yeah. when I got the GPS going. Yeah. And it's not good, man. It gets in your head. Yeah. And then you're like, ah, I'm terrible. But if I am looking at my watch, I'm looking more at like time. When it's like, I mean, not time, but um, distance. Yeah. You know? um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, it, 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 try not to get so, you know, worked up about the watch. Right. Um, I mean, hydration is very, very important. So, uh, luckily, yeah. we both have our trusty hydro flasks. We've got our hydro flasks. They're so good. Yeah. I'm going to put my noon tablets in it and go. I try to do, um, I mean, I try to be pretty good with like electri electrolytes. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I, I think I go a little bit, like during the hot and humid weather, when I'm just sweating it out, um, I'm usually, I go a little bit, uh, do a little more with um, electrolytes. Yeah, they say like one tab per 16 ounces. I usually just do a whole tube. Ten. You do ten. Ten tabs. That's a lot, man. Ten tabs. <laughs> Per 16 ounces, <laughs> and I'm good to go. Don't do this at home. And yeah, I'm just joking. Kids, don't do this at One home. Tab One tab per 16 ounces. But, uh, but I, I found myself, I'll have some electrolytes before and then and then after, like mm -hmm. over a period of 
you know, a few hours afterward, try to get some more in me. Yeah. And sweat it out. Um, you know what's the best? And I've said this in previous podcasts. Ice cubes in the Hydro Flask yeah. for when you're finished. Yeah. Yep. You finish ice cold noon. It's nice. On a hot, steamy day. Yep. I, yep. It's very, it's really, it's very refreshing. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'll have to, you know, you get sweaty and it just sticks to you. All of your apparel sticks to you. And I'm not, I'm not the, I'm not one of those people who runs without a shirt, but that's certainly a strategy that a lot of people that's do. Option, a lot yeah. of guys do, or, yep. you know, um, I'm not that person. Me neither. So I keep my singlet on, but I'll go to a singlet. So I'll have to use a body glide just in, in various places to help because yeah. I tend to chafe in the hot, humid weather. Gotcha. And, uh, and of course, again, I, I'm not always going, I don't go early in the morning, but I'll go later, mm-hmm. right, later in the day, yep. early evening. But there are times where, you know, I've been out there sometimes, you know, like it really... Like 90 degrees like day. day day? Yeah, well, I just had to, you know, I just had to sneak it in, you know, right. just poor time management or just the way things are mm-hmm. with activities going on and, you know, just, that's tough. That could be rough, man. Yeah. The sun beating down on you. You ever yeah. tried a baseball cap, Ray? I've been using my, uh, I've been using a running cap. Nice. Yeah. I've been Take wearing it. Face. I know, I know that's something that you've, yeah, I, but I turn the visor backwards just because it's comfortable. It's more like uh, protection on the top of my head. Top of the head. And it's the back of the neck too, if you get the angle. Protect the back right. of my neck, yeah. And I'll just, I'll definitely try to put. Um, I'll try to put my sunscreen on early mm-hmm. so that it doesn't. And I use something, uh, you know, a sport um, sunscreen so it doesn't. Like you know, move, like with moisture and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't just like drip off of me. Yeah. I try to put it on early enough so it, you know, kind of. Gets out of my skin and stays there. You need sunscreen. Yeah. That's so important. That's, Super yeah. important. So. Good deal. Some people might decide that they're just not going to go out. That's true. I mean, that's what I mean. I, if it's really it. bad and, and, you know, and, and there's a really, and, and the air quality is poor, you might just skip yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I usually pay attention to is that air quality. If there's one of those, like, ozone alert days, yeah. then I'm... Um, I'm not running. This past Monday, i got to tell you, I mean, I've been running consistently and I've been putting in a lot of days, but Monday I I decided not to go out. It was it was that bad. I mean, it was like, you know, it was like ridiculous. So I was like, I was going to go out and I decided, you know what? I just ran seven days in a row. I can give myself a break today. I made that last minute call and I was like, all right, I can live with this. That's I'm all right with it. You know what you could do, some people do this, is they hit the treadmill on those days. That's a good idea. Yeah. Like we've got a treadmill. If you have to go do that, yeah, for winter time when it's <clears throat> snowy and icy and you don't want to hit the road. Yeah. Uh, but summertime, ozone alert day. Too hot to get outside. Check on the air conditioner. Hop on the old mill. Yeah, it's a good idea. It used to be easier when there was gyms. Yeah, it's harder now because you, you, it's not as easy to get into um, into a gym with a treadmill that's climate controlled and. And, um, and even if you could right now, a lot of people aren't wanting to do that. No. They're going outside. I still see a lot of people out there, believe it or not, even if it's hot and humid as, it, as it's been, mm-hmm. throughout the day, I do see a lot of people out there. Yeah, I've, so seen, than, you know, yeah, I've seen a ton of which people. Which is good, you know, walking, running, cycling, so that's just, you know, I don't let it get in your head. I know some people, I, I spoke with some people, and I feel, a little, I feel badly for them because mm-hmm. they're really discouraged by it and they haven't been able to get out there or... It's just been tough for them to get out there, and I just tell them, "Hey, you just wait it out, because we're you know we're really turning the corner to some really nice fall weather, oh, believe it or not. So fall some of the best running in, in, the best. In, in the year, like the best time, right? So yeah. just you know, if if you're having trouble and you're struggling through this, folks, you know, don't be patient. beat yourself up, be patient, and don't beat yourself up because we're all going through this, whether we're getting out there or not. It's just it's it's tough weather for for runners. It is, man. You know. That's for sure. Um, You'll get through. When you were talking about apparel, yes. What type of apparel should I be talking? <clears throat> well, you're definitely going to want to have something. I mean, even though you're sweating buckets, yeah, you're going to want something that's going to help. Uh, that's going to be. That's going to be moisture wicking yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. You know, avoid the, avoid the cotton stuff. Obviously, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. runners know that. But you know, I'll have my running shorts. Lightweight, right? I always know. find lighter colors too. Like yeah, I, right. Avoiding darks and <clears throat> blacks and navy, yeah. blue. I try to avoid that during the summer. Mm-hmm. Those light colors going, you know. Yep. 
that's always helpful. You know, another thing I've been trying to do, and it's not always doable, is trying to find spots that are cooler to run. Yeah. Like, luckily, we're in the ocean state, so we can make, like, a little, you know, 10-minute drive to maybe run by the side of the ocean. Yeah, it's a little bit, you know, you get, a lot of times you get a nice breeze. Mm -hmm. I was down by the ocean last week, and it was really, it seemed like it was a little bit cooler there. Mm -hmm. And I was on some of those dirt roads that I was talking about. Yeah. Trees all the top, beautiful, so real shady, you know. Um, I live in a town where there's a really nice bike path that is shady compared to some of the other bike paths in the area. Try to go to a place like that if you Mm -hmm. can. you know, just where there's a little bit more shade. Yeah. If, you know, look for it, and it's it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. For sure. Good time for trail running. That's for <clears throat> yeah. Sure. Maybe maybe do that. Maybe lower the mileage and get out the trails and you know different terrain. You're probably going to have some ups and downs and things to have to you know push through. But you know, I mean, it's a little a little bit cooler. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Definitely a good time to mix it up. Yeah. Because then on the trails, you don't have to think too much about what your pace is and your time mm-hmm. and all that stuff. You can just yeah. worry about getting the run. Yeah. You know? And if you're going by the water, a lake, river, ocean, you know, you might think about a little dip afterwards. Take a little dipsy do. Take a little dipsy do, right? Put the old tootsies in there. Hey, okay. you know, it's seriously, um, that's nice. Absolutely, yeah. I, I did that a couple of times on vacation. It was nice. I bought this uh, pair of running <clears throat> shorts. They call them uh, Run Cannonball Run shorts. Oh. So they're made to run, but then you can swimming them too. So you they, do a cannonball, do a cannonball into the water, jump in, big old splash of room, and then get right out. Get out and go for a run. That's cool. They're kind of cool. So I try to um, wear those. Run Cannonball shorts. Run, is that the brand? Uh, no, it's like a, 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 a Tracksmith. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of that brand. I have kinda heard Kind of like that brand. a fancy pants, like yeah. Ivy League inspired running brand. Um, that sounds cool. I got them on sale. Okay. I just look them. I'm going to be straight with you. Okay. They're like really expensive shorts. If you went to their site and tried to buy them, $100 shorts or something. Yeah. But 20 bucks I paid. Sweet. Wow. Anyway, you got to do some digging for the deals. You, you know? do have to do some digging for deals, but that sounds kind of neat. And it's great. I think take a little dip afterwards. Right. Or actually even plan, plan if you can, mm-hmm. if you happen to be in an area where you can do it, right? And you have a, like a swimmable body of water. Yeah. Plan it mid-run. Mid run swim. It's okay, you know, to stop, take a rest, mid run, cool yourself off, right. and then go for a run afterward. Heck it's yeah. alright to do. If you want to swim a mile, call it a biathlon. Exactly. No, so, a duathlon. A duathlon. Biathlon's one with the guns, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might want to do that too. Yeah. Uh, beat the heat. Whatever, man. But yeah, jump in the water, cool off, and finish your run. Yeah. Or not. You know what I mean? When I was in college, we used to have like a little rivery thing we would jump into. That's why. Nice. That's yeah. cool. That's good. Yep. Make it frustrating, though. I got to tell you. Gosh, the heat, man. Woo! Ugh. Terrible. I just have to talk about it. I, I know we had some serious stuff lined up for today, but I just, man. I mean, I. One track mine with that. Well, I appreciate you letting me get some things off my chest here, you know? It's okay. I'm here for you. Because, like, I was doing that research on VO2 Max. And it was just the heat was just so overwhelming yeah. that I just couldn't get through it. Yeah, I just kept falling asleep. Sometimes the heat and it dries up your brain juices, <laughs> <laughs> and the humidity it just clouds up your your mind and your thinking. Oh man, <laughs> it's tough. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I do think we have to wrap this. We up. We do have to wrap right. this up. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, but I, yeah, like I said, glad you let me get this off my chest because the heat too. has been brutal. Yep. I hope this maybe helped a few people out there in the uh, audience. Yes. Um, maybe you got a few tips. Maybe we talked you out of going for a run. Right. It's too hot. But um, either way, what we want you to do is if it's safe and it's not an ozone alert day. Right. You know what they should do because you keep running. Keep running because it's good for you. Right. Yeah. But take it slow. Take it slow. Don't go too far. And and just, you know, power through it. You know? Keep pushing, baby. Keep pushing. 